Hi everybody and welcome back. I made this cake design using a sink strainer. Yep, I can imagine what you're thinking. But don't get grossed out. The sink strainer that I'm using is brand new. I bought it, I washed it and I only use it to design cakes. Every single time I use a sink strainer to decorate a cake, the design can be very unique. I could never create two identical cakes, even though I tried. But like art, every art is different. You can never make two things alike. And here are the ingredients. One cup white chocolate chips, two thirds cup sugar, half a cup sweetened condensed milk, one fourth cup water, one fourth cup water mixed with one package of gelatin, and one fourth cup corn syrup. First thing I did, I mixed the gelatin with the water and let it bloom for about five minutes, then put all the ingredients into a saucepan, put it on the stove on low heat and mix constantly until everything is melted. Then pour the content into a couple of cups and color it according to your liking. Let the glaze cool off completely before you put it on the cake, otherwise you're going to melt the cake and create a disaster. One of the challenges that I have is having a level surface. So what I did, I have an inverted plate here and I'm trying to make sure that at least the plate is leveled. Then I place the cake on it and put the sink strainer on and then I'm pouring the uh, glaze into the sink strainer. And even though my cake is leveled, my table is leveled and everything is fine and straight because I've checked it, somehow when I start pouring the uh, mirror glaze, the sink strainer starts to move and then I have to put something underneath like right now I put a spoon there just gonna lift up that side and uh, make it more leveled and not to mention that when I moved it my sink strainer moved a little bit to the side and my design will not be uh, symmetrical but that is okay this is just art so I can make it as beautiful as I want and as creative as I want so my first thing my first concern is to cover up the cake so in the beginning, I don't really worry about my design. I'm trying to make sure that my mirror glaze covers the sides of the cake everywhere. And then at the end, I will decide which color to use as my final design. I think I'm going to finish up with the blue, blue and white. Somehow I always pick that color. The real challenge is removing the strainer now without dripping over the cake. I have to work very fast because one drop can mess up the whole thing. After the strainer is removed, I'm going to check the cake and see if I need to do any final touches. At this stage you can still uh, do some changes if you want and in my case I'm going to take a toothpick, dip it in the white mirror glaze and uh, change a little bit the center there. Somehow um, I think my camera didn't capture when I did those little red extensions but I did it with the same method with the toothpicks. I just dipped the toothpick in the paint and uh, drag it a little bit and then I did the same thing with the white and now I have to let it sit for about half an hour and then I'm going to come back and cut the drippings so what I'll do I take a knife and whatever excess that I have on the bottom here I'm just going to uh, gently remove it and then transfer everything onto the platter And here it is. It is shiny, it is beautiful, and it's very artistic. Like I said, no two cakes are alike. I'm also going to show you um, a couple of pictures of a cake that I made before, last year sometimes. 
another mirror glaze cake and uh, I was trying to kind of copy the same colors this time but somehow I couldn't like I said no two cakes are alike and here is the cake I'm talking about this was my very first mirror glaze cake I love the colors it's beautiful and like I said you can use any mousse cake you want Hope you enjoyed it.